In this lesson, we're going to cover the server-side code for connecting endpoints inside Currentos Media Pipeline. Previously, we created the outgoing endpoint and also initialized the per connections. Today, we're going to introduce the concept of an incoming WebRTC endpoint. Rather than taking streams from a browser and sending them to other endpoints, an incoming WebRTC endpoint will receive streams from other endpoints and will send them to a browser. Same as with outgoing, an incoming endpoint must go through a signaling process with the client to be able to send media. After such process, the client will receive in his browser the streams that the endpoint is receiving. So. Let's jump into it. First thing we're going to do is add an additional function to our server side code. So let's go near the public route. Let's create a new function called get endpoint for user. This function is going to look for the endpoints of the user we would like to receive video from. So this function is going to receive a socket, a room name, the sender ID, which is the ID of the user that we are getting the stream from, and a callback. So let's begin by getting the room. We will get it from socket IO. So sockets adapter rooms and the room name now let's get the user that is asking for video we will call it asker we will get it from my room participants and the socket id which identifies the user that is calling the function also let's get the sender same as before, my room, participants, and sender ID. First, let's check if the sender and the asker are the same user. And in such case, we're simply going to return the user outgoing media. So let's put, so let's put an if here that will compare both IDs. And if that is true, let's return the user's outgoing media. Because in this case, we will want to make the negotiation with the streams that we're sending. Now we need to check if the incoming media of a user already exists. So let's create an if here that will search if a reference to the incoming media for the sender ID already exists. Remember that when we saw the endpoint, we said that each user we will have multiple incoming endpoints that that will get the streams from all of the users that's why in this case the incoming media variable is an array that will have one object per for each for each of the users in the call so we're looking in order to send that media streams to the asker so if already exists then we're gonna connect those endpoints and to do so we will get the outgoing media of the sender and we're gonna call the connect method the connect method receives another endpoint that will be the one from the asker so let's put here incoming media in the sender.id position this function receives a callback so let's 
create an arrow function here handle the error appropriately return callback with an error and if, every, and if everything goes well we'll simply re, uh, call the callback send in the asker incoming media for the sender ID now this will happen if the incoming media already exists if it doesn't exist then we will have to we will have to create it so let's add the else clause in here in which we will same as before we'll create a webrtc endpoint so I'm gonna just copy this And we'll make some changes. So let's gonna paste here. I'm gonna form it appropriately. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the name. Instead of outgoing, this will be incoming. We will keep the error handling here. I don't need to create a user, so I'm gonna delete this. And instead, I will add the incoming endpoint. to the array for the asker so this will have the center ID and be equal to the in the newly created WebRTC endpoint I need the ice candidate but I will change the name here to the sender ID and same thing on the on, on the on ice candidate event and I don't need I don't need uh, all this so I'm gonna delete it and instead now that I have the incoming endpoint created I'm gonna connect the outgoing media of the sender with the incoming so I will copy this function and we'll paste it here but not without uh, making some changes instead of of getting the incoming media of the asker I will simply put incoming okay so now we are able to respond to the receive video from function and we will do that by creating the receive video from function so let me copy this and we'll create the function down below I will delete uh, all the messages here because I don't need them and instead I'm gonna add another parameter here for the callback okay and first thing we're gonna do is to call the newly created function get endpoint for users we will send the socket the room name, the user ID, and a callback function. And in here, after handling a possible error, that will return the callback with an error we will initiate the signaling process of the client with the appropriate endpoint in order to get that user media streams so let's uh, get the endpoint that we receive on the callback and call process offer in here we will get the SDP offer and we will get an SDP answer <laughs> same as before we need error handling here 
and now we need to send that SDP answer to the user. So we will use socket emit of type message. We will send out our object with the event receive video answer. We will also send the sender ID, which will be the user ID, and the SDP answer. Finally, uh, oops. We will make that the endpoint begins to gather candidates. So we will call the function gather candidates. This function requires a callback, so we're going to simply add something for handling errors. Now we need to do something else in the client side. So we're going into the client.js file and we'll create a new function. for when we receive the answer from the server. So we will create this on receive video answer function. We will create it down below here. So function on receive video answer. Let's remove the messages because we don't need, we don't need them here. And in here from the list of participants, We will get, uh, oops, this is like this. We will get the RTC peer object of the sender and we will process the answer with the one that we receive. And that's it. Oh, just let's add the function here. Totally forgot about this. Okay, now we're ready. So what we did in this video was the signaling process between the client and the server that will connect both the incoming WebRTC endpoint with the outgoing one from all other users. We're almost there, so when you're ready, move to the next lesson.